Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and a lot of our projects requires power. So what we're going to be doing today is creating our cheap DIY power supply bench using a power supply from a computer right here, right now. So I've been using this power supply workbench for a while now. So this is more of a walkthrough than a step-by-step -step how to. So there's a disclaimer with this. There's a possibility that you might get hurt or stuff might blow up if you don't know what you're doing or you're not familiar with electronics or anything like this. So keep that in mind if you're gonna attempt this project. Now with that being said, let's get started. So guys, the first thing you want to do is cut off all the connectors to the motherboard and I shortened all the cables to about five inches. Now you want to use everything for heat shrink it actually keeps all the cables tight. It keeps all the stuff together. It doesn't unravel itself like it does with the electrical wiring tape. Now the next thing you want to keep in mind of is this green cable. It's actually on the 24 pin motherboard cable itself. That's actually the on and off switch to, to turn this power supply on. And I actually was able to find a button that fits directly into that hole where the cables would come out of. And then I soldered and connected everything together over here. Next thing I did was I took four cables of orange, well orange only had two, sorry. Um, four cables of red, four cables of black, four cables of yellow, and then I shrunk it down and made it two cables each. That way I could get through this little hole that I had and was able to connect to these pins or these screws you could say using one of these uh, female ring connector things. Sorry, I don't know the technical names. Now, this plastic piece I use is actually off a DVD box uh, on an old DVD that I had. And then I just screwed everything together, drilled a little tiny hole and threaded it with the bolts and then connected everything tightly in there. Now, after shortening all the pins, these are the excess cables. I just took a heat shrink wrap and covered it. I didn't even heat it up or anything. It's not gonna cause any problems. All the ends are cut off to the tips. And the next thing we need to do is kind of like squeeze it down, make sure nothing's popping out or not, nothing's in the way. And when you're done with that, make sure that the connect, uh, that the cover will go on tightly and it will have an easy fit instead of you know trying to push stuff down. And when you screw everything down, everything should be tight. Now you're gonna see that I have a little hole over here. I intended it for another purpose for another project that I had and I never went forward with it, but um, that doesn't stop it from not working. So the reason why I put these pins or these screws is so I could use alligator clips. Now keep in mind that yellow is 12 volts, red is five volts, orange or salmon color is 3.3 and black is ground so whatever you use you kind of need to use ground no matter what and then everything else you just find the connector that you need it for most of the time we're either going to be dealing with 5 or 12 3.3 is just something that i kept because it supplies 3.3 so once you have everything connected you have your own cheap diy workbench from a power supply. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that inspired you guys to take a product that you have at home and convert it to something else not intended for its purpose or you could say recycle it to do something else. Uh, if you guys got any questions please leave it in the comments below. Hit the like button if you like this video, share this video, subscribe if you haven't done so already and remember hack till it hurts. Hey thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe it helps me a lot and if you want to watch more videos like this I'll post a link right here.